That artist there is called Junaid Malik and he joins us on set this morning. That song that we just heard is Bemisal, but he's on set this morning to share some more with us. How are you doing this morning, Junaid? Oh, very well. How are you guys? Good, good. We good, you know. I'm excited to, to chat with you this morning because you are an artist that is based in London, yeah. essentially. But you understand the importance of British Asian, British Asian footprint on the world stage. It's what your bio says. You understand the urgency of that. Explain the urgency of having a British Asian footprint on the world stage for me. I think um, our culture is very interesting. I'm actually first generation British Asian. So um, growing up, it's been a mixture of cultures, you know, um, especially in England, we've got uh, quite a big of an Asian community. Not only that, we've got a massive Caribbean community mm -hmm. there as well. So um, it's a blend of flavors that we're like brought up with. And I'm looking to share it with the world. I think I think especially being here in Trinidad, especially like seeing the diversity here, mm -hmm. it gives us it gives me a feeling how things are gonna be coming along for us in the future. And I and I really want to make an impact on the world. And I think my fellow artists in England, actually around the world, can do that, especially now in this social media era. Mm -hmm. I, I'm curious as to how that, that well, is this your first time in Trinidad? Yes, it is, yeah. Oh, okay, Welcome. fantastic. Welcome. <laughs> but I, I'm, I'm very interested to find out how that West Indian influence would have impacted on your music. So, uh, one thing is for definite. I think the rhythm of music mm. definitely comes from here. You know, um, <laughs> you'd be surprised on how much of an impact it had, like, growing up. I mean, um, it's only been a few years that I discovered Chutney or, or like came across mm -hmm. Chutney, but Soka and Dancehall have been a massive part of my life. So um, yeah, I think um, I think that's probably something that you wouldn't get to hear from a British person, but it's definitely the truth. Mm. I'm also wondering, uh, in terms of artists, I mean, have you collaborated with any of our local artists yet? So we've uh, actually just done something with an artist called Black Loyalty, mm. and it's a fusion of uh, a Punjabi sound and the reggae sound. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm looking forward to getting that out, especially whilst I'm here, because it's, it's again, a blend of flavors, a blend of music that you wouldn't really get to find from, you know, in, in like a British Asian kind of community, but over here anything is possible. Yeah. Well, what brought you to Trinidad? So I had a performance, I was here for the annual Mother's Day spe Spectacular. Right. And uh, I, I decided to stay a little longer. I think um, I'm in love with the culture, you see. The diversity is real here, you know, like uh, I've, I've come across so many kinds of people and the kindness of, of the people from Trinidad is, you know, is, 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 is amazing in itself. But um, yeah, I've, I'm going to be doing more shows. I'm here to shoot music videos, make music, mm -hmm. mingle with artists, mingle with anyone actually, you know, and, uh, you know, make friends for the future. Why not? Yeah, I love that every time somebody comes, they're like, yeah, I came to Trinidad for something and I'm staying. You know what I mean? <laughs> or, they, or they stay for a certain period, that much is true. I, I, I know that you're talking about that, that British-Asian blend, but what I'm also hearing as well is a fusion in your music. If you were to label your music, is there a particular genre you'll put it under, or how would you describe it? Yeah, um, see, I, I personally, I like to say that I'm versatile, you know, and... Uh, it's it is it's an Asian sound with a Western blend. Mm -hmm. I think that would be the best way to describe it. But to 
put in a genre would be a little bit difficult. Yeah. Now you and mentioned that you like soca. Are we going to see a soca track from you soon? I mean, you, you, you love the country, you love the culture. Are we looking anything for 2024? I hope so. I mean, I'm in, I'm in love with an artist called Kess. Uh, ah, I'm sure he's very nice. Like, Aren't we all? Yeah, <laughs> and um, I'm hoping he's watching this and uh, somehow we could come up with a club, that would be great. Yeah, nice. That would be very, very interesting. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I'm, I'm interested in that, in that collaboration you spoke about earlier with Black Loyalty. Because Black Loyalty, from what I, I mean, from what I know of Black Loyalty, is hardcore reggae. Yeah. Like, as hardcore reggae as it gets. Yeah. And, and you're telling me now that you'll have this fusion. How was that? Well, how did that, that uh, meeting happen mm -hmm. in the first place? And how was the process of writing together? Yeah, I mean, the power of social media, you see, like, ah. um, I saw him on TikTok and uh, I dropped him a comment, he replied, and just a nice little DMs here and there, and uh, we met up, We I went down to his studio, it was a great atmosphere, uh, real supportive kind of vibe, and you love to see it with uh, local artists especially, you, you want the surrounding to be authentic. Yeah, exactly, mm -hmm. so um, yeah, I met up with Jada Illis, who was a producer there as mm -hmm. well, and I think it took us a couple of hours. We took an hour to just get to know each other, but it took a couple of hours to just bring the song to life. And where it is right now, is it's a very special song, and I can't wait to show you guys. I'm, I'm excited to hear it yeah, as well. Yeah, I hope that we get to release yeah, it soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to yeah. come back and, and drop it here when <laughs> yeah. it's time to release it. Premier it, shall we? Premier it here on TPT, yes. No problem. I would love that. I mean, you can invite me anytime. I'll be yeah. here. Ah, so, nice. I mean, I noticed that that track was in Hindi. Is it that you, you sing in Hindi usually? So, um... I sing in Punjabi and Hindi, mm. uh, so it's again like um, so. I'm Punjabi. Uh, in India, there's a place called Punjab where mm -hmm. uh, where I'm from, and uh, yeah. Um, apart from that, it's it's mostly like the English stuff as well that ah, I like to okay. venture into. Okay. Now that song, it appeared to be a love song. Do you often sing only love songs, or do you do a variety? Because you mentioned that you've used the title. Yeah, yeah. This one was a love song, was it? Yeah. yeah. I'm, Listen, uh, I think love songs just bring out the best of me. I think as as a writer, because um, I do write my own songs as well. So, um, from a spiritual point of view, I think love is the best way to describe the goodness of life, and that's that's what I'm looking to share with the world. Nice. Are you continuing on that path? They might dabble in different topics, maybe now and then. Uh, I think. Um, I've made songs that are inspiring to the cause as mm -hmm. well. So I think it's either love or inspiration, you know, and motivation. I like that. <laughs> we need more of that in the world. So you, sir, you keep doing that. I appreciate it. And I want you to continue doing it because especially if you're going to do collaborations with other artists, yeah. when you do collaborations from a place of love and inspiration, I think it, it lends to a better product in the end. Yeah. And of course, I think it reaches a lot further. Uh, 100%. So I want yeah. to thank you for joining us and thank you for sharing uh, the music that you've shared with us so far. We look forward to the collaborations and I, I do hope that Kes Call him on now. Where he is. Come on, Cass. <laughs> Cass, oh love gosh. and inspiration, Cass. Love and love inspiration. And inspiration. <laughs> you know you like that too. <laughs> you know you like love and inspiration, Cass. So link up with Junaid. Uh, thank you again for yes. joining us oh, this morning, Junaid. Yeah. And thank all the best you. going thank forward. Course. We're going to take in a little bit more of a music video from you as we get to the break. So stay tuned. It's in our morning show. How did we end up here? Love was never this fair. I know that I'm wanting. 